This morning we're going to tie a, a dry fly, a variation on the buzz ball, the Fontaine's buzz ball. Um, this is my variation. I, I put a little trailing shuck in a, in a elk hair wing on it so you can see it. It also helps it float a little bit better, uh, especially that trailing shuck. Uh, you know, fly floats fine on the, on the Missouri, but the Madison, it doesn't always float so well, uh, La Fontaine's buzz ball. Um, it, it works good for a trained eye, but uh, you know, someone newer to fishing may not be able to see that buzz ball all that well. I'm going to tie this on a size 16 Tiemco 100. Uh, we'll thread the hook with rusty brown Danville thread. Our trailing shuck is going to be Mayfly Brown Zelon. You know, I'll just use a whole wad of this and then trim it down in the field if I need to, if I feel that it's too thick or bushy. You know, the traditional buzz ball uses a dun, an orange, hackle, and a grizzly. I'm going to substitute the orange for furnace. I, I like the black vein of a furnace hackle. We'll tie those in together. All three of them right at the back. The grizzly hackle you want to make sure it's you know gap and a half long so it extends out a little ways gives this fly a little buggier appearance. Now the key to this white wing here, this elk hair wing, is uh, to not tie it too close to the eye of this fly. Sometimes we got to thin out that wing, it might be a little thick. Tie this with tips forward. Make sure you prop that wing up a little bit. A few extra wraps makes it dis display right out. So we're going to take the uh, furnace or the orange hackle and that dun hackle and we're going to palmer them forward. One time in front. Tie them off. I always put a half hitch in here just in case they want to slip. So now we're going to cut those two hackles before we bring that grizzly forward. We're going to cut them in the round, all the way around. Watch out for that thread. Don't cut it. Pull it back away. Use your fingers. You don't have to cut the top of this fly, but we will for style. And then we're going to bring this grizzly hack all around, palmer it forward. Clip it. And tie it off. You know, the buzz ball is really simple. LaFontaine tied that thing three hackles and a whip finish, and you were ready to go. Uh, 
this adds two more steps, but I think it really adds some visibility and flotation for, for rivers like the Madison, the Riffoli, or faster running, less glassy rivers. We're still going to clip that on the bottom, just like LaFontaine's buzz ball. Clip it on the top, and there you have it. The Buzzball Cripple. Work by the rain, driven by the snow, drunk and dirty, don't you know I'm still willing. Cause out on the road late at night, I see my pretty house in every headlight house. Dallas house, and I've been thrown to some.